Welcome to the 2018 Bullhead City State of the City Address. As your mayor, I'm happy to report that your city is doing well. In this report, I'll be highlighting many of the projects and accomplishments that we've achieved in the past year, and I'll also report on better things yet to come and exciting new challenges ahead. First off, my hat's off to our city council, our city manager, and the terrific employees who move the city forward in a positive, cost-effective, and logical manner. We work hard on being business and citizen friendly. Common sense, compassion, and fairness are what we strive for in governing this city. Good stewardship of taxpayer dollars is one of the most important responsibilities of your elected leaders. It has been and will continue to be our mission to utilize our citizens' dollars effectively and efficiently. This past year was a very positive one for Bullhead City. Here are some of the many accomplishments from 2017, starting with parks and recreation facilities and our wonderful partnerships. The Colorado River is said to be the lifeblood of our community and each year we see more and more people enjoying this wondrous resource. One of the most desirable remaining undeveloped parcels of riverfront property is the land south of the Bullhead Area Chamber of Commerce. You now see massive amounts of earth being moved at this location to create new beachfront and another half mile is expected to be completed in the coming year. Full build out will take time and the city is committed to what will someday be a beautiful riverfront park for all to enjoy. Many new facilities have been added to Rotary Park in this past year. A brand new lighted softball baseball triplex was completed at the park. Partners in this project include the BHHS Legacy Foundation who awarded us $150,000 the Baseball Tomorrow Fund awarded us $181,000. The American Youth Soccer Organization provided $20,000. The Amateur Softball Association is contributing $2,000 a year for five years. And the Bullhead City Little League spent about $10,000 to build the new snack bar. Bullhead City contributed a total of $65,000 from the city's general fund in this $418,000 total project. In an effort to improve the 18 acres of soccer fields built recently by our local Rotary Club, field lighting was installed which will allow more teams to play. This $420,000 lighting project was funded with $250,000 from the BHHS Legacy Foundation and $50,000 from the Crit Soccer Tournament along with $120,000 from the city. Pickleball is a sport similar to tennis and it is extremely popular with our older adults. The city conducts open pickleball play at the Suddenlink Community Center and at the Boys and Girls Club New Gym, but demand has exceeded capacity. As a result, the city constructed four lighted pickleball courts in Rotary Park for less than $100,000. This first class facility was opened in November and has already seen tournaments and a tremendous amount of use from our local citizens. Gary Keith Civic Center Park is a 22 acre parcel located on the corner of Highway 95 and Marina Boulevard. This parcel sat vacant for years waiting for development. In 2015, volunteers led by Olivia McCormick formed the Gary Keith Park Improvement Committee and to date have raised over $650,000 in contributions to develop this park. Underground utilities, light poles, decomposed granite, and a well have all been installed and much more is expected in the future phases. This park will serve Bullhead City well as a place for large concerts, carnivals, and community type events such as Corn Fest. Bullhead City is positioned to be a premier sports destination town Teams throughout the country are learning of our outstanding sports facilities, our helpful staff, and our affordable hotels, and our generally pleasant weather. They are now flocking here in droves for large tournaments. We will continue to support these special events 
which helped bring in tens of thousands of people and millions of dollars into the local economy. Infrastructure and roads are the lifeblood of any community and our staff has done a fine job investing the necessary funds in projects to reduce traffic congestion and maintain the longevity of our roads for years to come. As our town grows, infrastructure needs to keep pace. Towards that effort, you will see heavy earth moving equipment constructing the Laughlin Ranch Boulevard extension. This new one and a half mile highway will connect the Bullhead Parkway to Highway 95 across from the Bullhead Community Park. Through a partnership with landowners south of the airport, an improvement district was formed to fund this roughly four and a half million dollar project with the city contributing one third of the cost. This project will bring a new east-west corridor to our community, provide a quicker response time for public safety personnel, relieve congestion on Highway 95, and open up access to additional commercial and retail properties near the airport. This project is anticipated to be completed in August. In an effort to alleviate traffic congestion on Highway 95, the city recently completed the north-south Arcadia to Silver Creek one and a quarter mile connector. In addition, the city used some common sense and bought the 200 foot strip of land to connect the city center by Kmart and the Riverview Mall by Ace Hardware. And a road was constructed so you can now travel between the two without driving on Highway 95. Another major road improvement in 2017 was the reconstruction of that one and a half miles of Riverview Drive from Highway 95 to the west entrance of Rotary Park. Road maintenance has been a problem ever since the economic downturn and the state sweeping our HERF funds for the past 11 years. Last year, the city purchased a new microsurfacing machine and using city staff and trustees, we've set a goal to resurface 20% of all streets annually. This goal was met in 2017 and staff is now on target to meet the goal in 2018. In addition, we will continue to fill cracks, paint lines, cut weeds, and fix and install new sidewalks whenever needed. Moving on, Bullhead City obtained a pilot program grant from the Bureau of Reclamation for over $1 million to construct two new effluent injection wells, which will inject treated wastewater back into the ground table yearly. Currently, Colorado River water is in short supply, and we now use evaporation ponds to dispose of our wastewater. Using the newest technologies, we will recharge the water table and increase our city's Colorado River water allocation by 2,200 acre feet annually. We have also seen great economic success and a renewed focus on addressing issues pertaining to the well-being of the community. This past year, the City of Bullhead City has seen favorable outcomes with the following projects. Dot Foods is a food redistribution company that just days ago opened their doors for business. They are a $7 billion a year company and they are expected to employ over 170 workers within three years. These will be quality jobs with attractive compensation and benefits. Since October of 2016 and all through 2018, in an effort to attract new commercial businesses to town and to help our existing businesses, the City Council voted to allow all businesses to invest in Bullhead City without paying city commercial permit fees. This resulted in dozens of local business owners who took advantage of this program by upgrading and remodeling their facilities. Since the Bullhead Regional Economic Development Authority disbanded several years ago, our city manager has successfully filled the gap. He meets regularly with our business community and is involved with a number of commercial and residential projects. He, along with staff and members of the City Council, attend two shopping center trade shows each year 
to recruit new retailers to our town. Efforts this past year have resulted in Harbor Freight, Starbucks, Human Bean, Ashley Home Store, Discount Tire, Star Nursery, Culver's, and Smart and Final Extra, already open or soon to open. Bullhead City has greatly increased our budget to abate dangerous and nuisance private properties and help clean up our community. Once the city steps in, and makes demand of a landowner, and after they refuse, we take action and clean up or demolish the property and place a lien on it. In the past three years, over 166 buildings have been demolished by the city, and over 369 lots have been cleaned up. No one wants to live in a neighborhood with abandoned and unkempt properties, and the city will continue this practice in years to come. Bullhead City has seven existing billboards in town, and our municipal code will not allow any more. Until last year, when we lobbied the legislature, existing state law did not allow electronic billboards in our community. We lobbied and were successful in getting the law changed to allow them in Bullhead City. Two of these electronic billboards have now been installed, and the city receives eight seconds of free public service messaging each minute, along with $10,000 a year from the billboard company for each one. And with every electronic billboard erected, our code now specifies that one of the old existing billboards will be removed. Over the past several years, our city has been plagued with a caddis fly and mosquito problem, something we never experienced before. In an effort to control the problem, the city is continuing our in-depth partnership with the Bullhead City Pest Abatement District, Mojave County, Clark County, and the Fort Mojave Indian Tribe for funding and staffing to help eliminate or reduce these pest issues that severely impact our river neighborhoods. We believe our partnerships, our research, and treatment efforts will have a positive impact. In April, of 2017, Bullhead City implemented a Veterans Court, which is a problem-solving court with the objective of serving military veterans struggling with addiction, serious mental illness, or recurring disorders. Instead of punishment, the Veterans Court offers eligible veterans a second chance through a coordinated response involving collaboration with the City Prosecutor, Defense Council, the Veterans Administration, and local mental health organizations. With over 9,000 veterans in our valley, our veterans can now get treatment and other support from groups that address their particular needs. The Homeless Task Force was formed three years ago when all of the agencies and organizations that were involved with the homeless situation were brought together as a cohesive team and they now meet regularly to provide efficient and effective assistance without unnecessary duplication of services. Catholic Charities now runs the Homeless Resource Center where any person in need can go to receive immediate basic assistance as well as comprehensive assistance for those who truly want to change or who are there not by choice. Bullhead City provides bus passes to Catholic Charities for this cause and we provide two city-owned homes that allow families to transition into permanent housing. The city also helped to fund the construction of the Food for Families Food Bank, which is now open and serving the entire community. In partnership with the many volunteers and agencies, Bullhead City will continue to serve the needs of the homeless. The Bullhead City Police Department is one of the finest departments you'll find. I, along with the entire city council, I'm always impressed with Chief Williamson and his staff. The professionalism exhibited by our police officers on a daily basis is admirable. We stand behind our police force and recognize all of them for their service to our community. We live in a violent world where officers are willing to risk their own lives to save yours. We pray this will never happen here, but please know the Bullhead City Police Department is here to serve and protect. Over the next year, 
in partnership with businesses in the community, we will continue our work on a number of projects that will further improve this wonderful town of ours. In 2004, a three-way agreement was signed to build a new bridge. The site of that bridge, after years of study, will be an extension of the south end of the Bullhead Parkway going west to the river. Bullhead City's only obligation is to pay the cost of connecting the road on our side of the river to the bridge and secure the needed right-of-ways. Clark County, Nevada is the lead agency on this project and we are told that the engineering design is 90% complete and a construction contract could be awarded as early as this fall. Still in the design stages, the city and the Bureau of Reclamation applied for a federal grant to construct a hiking and biking trail from Davis Dam down to the Laughlin Bridge. The grant was approved in the amount of $6 million, and the city was not required to provide any match. This trail will have many of the same design features as the trail on the Nevada side of the river across from Davis Camp. The Bureau of Reclamation is the lead agency on this project and construction is expected to begin this year. Since incorporation in 1984, our city fathers have struggled to redevelop the area at the north end of town known as Old Bullhead. Recently, our city council took some bold steps to revitalize and beautify this area. With our nearby Laughlin Ranch Boulevard extension, our Bullhead Community Park beach expansion, and all of the streets in the neighborhood being improved by 2020, we hope to see this area prosper. Furthermore, the City Council will soon be embarking on a visioning process to further analyze development opportunities for this area. Bullhead City has much to be proud of given all we've accomplished this past year, and yet there is still much work yet to be done. We as the city cannot do it ourselves and we must rely on our partners to help us. In reviewing the accomplishment and improvements mentioned, you will see that much of the progress is the result of community-minded groups and individuals who give so selflessly of themselves. That's one of the many factors that make our town so great. As our community continues to grow, we must always ensure that the infrastructure and resources are in place to support that growth. Many of us left the big cities to escape the traffic congestion, the crime, the high taxes, the pollution, and the government overregulation. But growing bigger is not necessarily growing better. We as a city must face the challenge ahead of us and make wise decisions that will affect our citizens for years to come. I, as the proud mayor of this wonderful community, know that we will all work together as we have done this past year, and we will make Bullhead City the town that we can all be proud of to call home.